Soldiers of the Press. This week, Battle Boomerang. Ah, there you are, Tony. Si, senor Packard. Tony, drop in at the PX and get me a package of cigarettes while I finish the story, will you? Uh, certamente, senor Packard. But, uh... Oh, yes, yes, yes. Here's the money. <laughs> senor Packard. Hmm? Uh, who is uh, Sergeant York? An American soldier who captured about the whole German army in the last war, that's all. Well, the colonel say there is... Uh... Uh, look, Tony, are you going to get me those cigarettes or do we have to send you back to Naples? It was your idea to come along and run errands for us correspondents, you know. Uh, si, senor. But the colonel say that there the is... The colonel says what? The colonel say Sergeant York just walked into headquarters from a no-man's land. Two of him. All right, Tony, you win. We'll both go get those cigarettes. If the colonel says Sergeant York is here, you may have stumbled onto a good yarn for me at that. A few minutes later, I had a reason to regard the small amount it cost to feed and house that often young Italian as the best investment I ever made. For Tony's budding news sense, had led me to as amazing a yarn as I have come across in many months of battlefront reporting. For the beginning of it, we go to a shell-swept hillside in no man's land between the Allied Fifth Army advancing on Rome and the German front line. A captain and sergeant of the United States Medical Corps, unarmed as usual, even in these hazardous surroundings, were administering blood plasma to a wounded corporal. This boy's lost a lot of blood, Sergeant. Suffering from shock, too. Can't lose any time. I'll have the transfusion gear set up in a minute, sir. Well, let's see. You could throw the hose over that branch above you and set the plasma bottle in the crotch. Yes, sir. I'll give you the word when I'm ready for the stuff. Okay. Well, what's God going on here? Where? He's coming, too, Captain. Well, that's all right, son. Just nick your shoulder. We'll have you okay in just a few minutes. Well, my, my, uh, my just, outfit... Just I... lie quietly. We're going to give you something that'll have you back with your outfit in no time. i I, I got to get back... What am I doing? No, no, no. Just keep your arm out straight and your fist clenched. This will hurt. Just a little bit. Captain, I think I hear something. Ah, uh, easy, easy. There. Captain, somebody's coming. All right, Sergeant. Press the valve now. It's Heinrich's Doc, a German patrol. I can see him creeping through the woods here. Well, Sergeant, there's not much we can do about it. Besides, we have work to do. Yes, sir. You better get out of here, sir. I'll be all right. Well, take it easy, boy. Easy. Sergeant, you may run for it if you want to, but they'll probably mow you down before you get... Thank you, sir. I'm sticking. All right. Alcohol and cotton, Sergeant. Yes, sir. All right. Put your hands up, Sergeant. I'm using mine. Okay. American man. Heads up. All of you. Oh, well... Me too, Captain? No, no, not you, Corporal. I don't think even the Nazis would shoot a wounded man lying on his back. You there, Captain. Stand up. Search him. Search them all. Come on, yeah. Take it easy, will you? Sie sind unbewaffnete Oberleutnant. So, you think to fight the Hermann Göring Elite Division without guns, eh? <laughs> the Amerikanischen Idioten. We are of the Medical Corps, uh, Herr Oberleutnant. You are German prisoners. Come along. Well, we'll have to finish this transfusion. It won't take long. This man's life is at stake. Yeah, we'll be quick about it. Am I, am I hurt bad, Doc? Am I be all right? Oh, you're going to be all right, son. Thanks to somebody back home who donated this blood plasma. Quiet, you! And hurry along with your bird. A few more CCs and we'll be all done. Just lie quietly and relax. No, we'll all be prisoners. You shouldn't have done it, Doc. Well, that's our job, my boy, just as you were doing your job when you were hit. What's taking you so much time? Hurry up, Don't Just better. one second more. There. Now the dressing. Now he cannot be here any longer. Get me with it. for me on. More alcohol and cotton, Sergeant. Yes, sir. Uh, that's it. Now, doors. Here you are, sir. All right, adhesive. Here. All right, now. On the stretcher. Okay, sir. And there we are. Up, title! Up! And that's how an American captain and sergeant of the medical corps, lost in their patrol in no man's land, happened to become prisoners of the Nazis, along with the wounded corporal they had come across in their wanderings. The captain, knowing that other American patrols were operating in this area, and that an allied advance was indicated by the artillery barrage he could hear in the distance, had stalled as long as possible over the transfusion. Now, under the angry prodding of their German captors, they were making the reluctant trek to a Nazi concentration camp 
behind the German line, bearing the wounded corporal on a stretcher. But they weren't through stalling. Herr Oberleutnant, please. My patient can't stand this pace. We'll have to let him rest a moment. What right again? Is this a Yankee trick? Gee, Lieutenant, the kid is real sick, and I... I say most! Who are you pushing around, Heine? If you didn't have that gun, I'd break the wide open. Silence, all of you. Put that man down. Uh, Thank you, Oberleutnant. There. This is the last time, Herr Captain. I warn you. All right, I'll administer morphine to ease his pain. Ah, that is the way with you Americans. Stop it! Or shall we say humane, Herr Oberleutnant? None of your insolence. Oye, oye, yeah, hey, that way, aye, yeah, hey. Yeah. All right. One more word and I shoot all the three of you. We go now. Hey, Oberleutnant, Amerikaner, an Amerikanische Abteilung nähert sich auf der linken Seite der Straße. Rusty, find out what it is. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, this is our chance. Quick, help me get him back in that big tree. Yeah. But the Germans. Well, are. the Germans are busy with other things. Come on, hurry. They don't know we're here. We'll be killed by our own bullets. Oh, it'll be all over in a moment. My flag. Yeah. Now, boy, get close enough. Give the countersign. Countersign? Gee, I've forgotten the countersign, sir. Strawberry shortcake. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Strawberry shortcake. Strawberry shortcake! Hey, Yank! Strawberry shortcake! And so entered the second act of this drama of no man's land. The sergeant's countersign had been recognized by the advancing Yanks, and the three, so recently facing the dismal prospect of imprisonment, were reunited with their comrades. It looked like a happy ending when the American patrol took over the job of bearing the wounded corporal and gave the captain and sergeant directions back to the Allied line. Shortly after they had parted company, a new menace, and then another, appeared in rapid succession. Say, Captain, I'm beginning to think our guys don't like us. What do you mean? That ain't Jerry artillery fire, and it's getting closer all the time. Well, our fellas couldn't very well know we're here. But even if they did, they couldn't hold up the war just because we got lost. Uh, Captain, sir, don't you think we ought to try to walk around this barrage? Yeah, and get lost again? Well, sir, I'd rather be lost than dead. Well, just keep down as much as possible. We'll be all right. Okay. Say... Ain't that a farmhouse up there ahead? Yeah, you're right. Now, we'll make for it and take cover till this thing blows over. Uh, Captain? Yeah? You know what I'd rather be doing right now? Well? Eating some of my mom's homemade strawberry shortcake. <laughs> yeah, that wouldn't be bad. Not bad at all. Say, Captain, I wonder who makes up those countersigns and why it always has to be something to remind you of what you haven't gotten one. Well, that's to make you fight harder, Sergeant. So you'll get home quicker where you will have it. Home. Gee, sometimes I wonder if there is such a place like I remember it. Yeah, it does seem almost too good to be true, doesn't it? Yeah. I wonder what my girl's doing right now. Gosh. <laughs> Say, you got a girl, Captain? Oh, you bet. Two of them. Both blondes. Cripes. A bigamist, huh? <laughs> One twenty-two, the other two. Oh, I get it. I get it. <laughs> now? Boy, that one had our number on it, sir. Uh, close, all right. Too close. <laughs> well, we're almost to the farmhouse. We could run for it, sir. A uh, good idea. Let's go. Hey, wait a minute. Someone's in there. Yeah, yeah, I hear someone moving, talking. Drones. Gee, they're wounded, whoever they are. It's too late now to investigate. We'll have to take a chance. Germans! Hands up, all of you! Come on up! Come on up, you guys! I want false move and you'll all be killed. This place is surrounded. Hand up that gun, you! Come on up! Who's in command here? Step forward. That got be dead. Well, Herr Oberleutnant, we meet again. Yeah, unfortunately. Well, I'll be. The same Jerry's that took us prisoners. I'll take that pistol of you, please, Oberleutnant. Ah, uh, never mind. Just keep your hands up. On, I'll help man. myself. There. Stand still back there. Don't any of you move till the captain orders. Hey, Oberleutnant, instruct your men to advance one at a time and lay their weapons here. 
Rifles, Tommy guns, hand grenades, everything. Remember, our men have you covered from every side. No foolishness now. All right, tell them. Einer nach dem anderen vorgehen. Waffen niederlegen. Widerstand zwecklos. Wir sind umstingelt. So, Krieger. Yes. Make them hand you their rifles, but first, Sergeant. Yes, sir. Take out the bolts and throw them in the corner. I'll keep you covered. Oh, well. Uh, you, Schmidt. Here's a Tommy gun for you, Captain. But first. It's more business, right? Thanks. Watch them carefully now. Out. Some of our friends this morning don't seem to like us. Yes, sir. You may collect those of the wounded and bring them here. Yes, the Colonel will be Get pretty up. glad when we walk in with this hall, huh, sir? Oh, you bet. With all these prisoners, you'll be a modern Sergeant York. What Sergeant York got that we haven't? Well, you should know, Sergeant. Strawberry shortcake. But the captain and sergeant did get strawberry shortcake that night. When the colonel heard the story, he ordered the mess sergeant to have it for chow if he had to make it out of strawberry jam and GI biscuit. And that's the way it was done. I saw to it that Tony got an extra large piece for tipping me to the story. Not the story of the big battle, to be sure, or even a minor engagement. Just how two unarmed medical men, in one brief day, had managed to get lost in the outfit, save the life of a corporal, be taken prisoner by the Nazis, and in turn, take their captors, 20 of them, prisoner. But it's acts of courage, heroism, and resourcefulness like these by men in every unit of the Allied forces that win the engagements and speed the day of ultimate victory. Like Reynolds Packard, United Press war correspondents are on the job to bring you eyewitness stories from every battlefront. We will bring you another thrilling story of these soldiers of the press soon. Be sure to listen. And remember to listen to United Press news on the air. Look for United Press dispatches in your favorite newspaper. They are your guarantee of the world's best coverage of the world's biggest news.